Welcome back to our channel. I'm Nancy Chisbury. Today I'll be talking on how to make a simple, okay, let me just say a mini simple bubble gown or a simple mini bubble gown. So over here is our measurements. The measurements we'll be using are full length, the bust, the waist, the sleeve length, yeah, the round sleeve, the hip, the hip measurements. So this is a sketch of what we or a sketch of what I will be trying to achieve. This is a sketch of what I want to achieve. Just a simple bubble dress. So I'll be using this for the patch. I'll use this fabric for the main material, for the main body of the clothes. Then I'll use this for this. All right? So stay tuned. Let's get down to the cutting. First thing I'm going to do is to fold the material, this fabric we are using. This is two yaks of mass, two yaks of fabric, two years of, two years of so. I'm going to fold it into four. This is how it is. It's just plain material. It's just material. Three acts. So I'm going to fold it into four. I'll be folding it into four. So this is it. This is it's on the fold of four. So I'll use my iron to give it a light press. After giving it a light press, we'll take our full measurement, and our full measurement is 40. So, if 40 is in our tape, 40 is our full measurement. We'll add 2 inches for our seam allowance, or for the folding, sorry, we'll add 2 inches for the folding, so which is 42. Our full length 42 plus 2 inches folding allowance. So, after taking that, we mark out our we mark out our shoulder. Our shoulder, our shoulder here is oh, sorry, I didn't put the shoulder. Our shoulder is 14. Using 14 inches for the shoulder measurements. So S is 14. So 14 inches. Divide into two is seven. So we're using seven. This is our shoulder. This is our shoulder. Then from here, from the We take 10, where our bust measurements, is, we place our bust measurements, then 16 for our waist measurements, then 24 for our horizontal hip measurements. So we have here the first one for our shoulder measurements, we have 10 for the bust measurements, we have 16 for our waist measurements, then 24 for our hip measurements. So, our shoulder is 7, which is here. Our sleeve length, after marking out or mapping up the horizontal 
measurements our horizontal measurement this is what the shoulder neck measurements this is where we we'll place our bust horizontal bust measurements uh waist measurements which is 16 then this one which is our hip measurements so we will now place our vertical measurements we we'll start placing the measurements so like so so for the shoulder which is 14 and we are using 7 14 divided by 2 will give us 7 so this is 7 our sleeve length is 9 so 9 plus 2 will give us 11 we we'll use it here max 11 for our sleeve length 11 is 9 11 how it came about to be 11 is because of the 2 inches allowance for the folding so then our bust measurement is 34 34 divide into 4 is 8 and a half we add 2 inches allowance to it we are using 2 inches for the people dress so 8 and a half plus 2 inches is 10.5 so we're using 10 and a half for dress we're using 2 inches for it then our waist measurement is 27 27 divided by 4 is 6.75 let's make it approximately 7 inches so 7 plus 2 inches is giving us 9 inches. So our waist is 9 inches for it. Then our hip is 35 inches. Thirty-five divided by 4. 8.75, approximately 9 inches. So the 9 inches plus 2 is 11 inches. So we're using 11 inches for hip measurement. So, like so. So after marking out the, we have now placed where it should be. We have placed our measurements, our various measurements on the horizontal lines. We go down for the neck, for the neck measurements. So, For a normal neck, I'm using three inches for normal neck. It's our shoulder measurements. So from these three inches, I will slant it by half an inch, a little down here. So because our, this is our shoulder slope, our shoulder is not on a straight line. It's a little bit slopey. So. We're going to reduce it by half inch to one inch to reduce it to reduce the shoulder so this is it this is the reduction here so this is our first measurement and our round sleeve is 11 so this is so from here you come you come down by Stick here, this is 10. So, here now is now 9 because we have reduced it here was a little half an inch to so 1 inch. So, here now is now 9. So, we we'll now join the measurements. We we'll join our horizontal, the measurements we placed on the horizontal line. Sorry. So, we are connected, we have connected our boss to our waist. Then our waist to the hip down. This is it. You make a little curve here. This is the where the bust is. This is the straight line. You make it a little bit curvy for the arm bow. So you now come down straight to the hip measurements. After this, this is the neck, the sleeve, the 
bust where the bust is the waist the hip and the full length so we we'll cut out we we'll cut it out this is our result this is what came up so we'll now work on the neck neck here is three here is three i'll be using five oh, let me see i'll be using six for the depth of the neck i'll be using six inches for the next depth. That's for the front neck. Then the back neck, I'll be using two inches. I'll be using two inches for the back neck and six inches for the front neck. So this is how it should be. This is the this is the back neck. And this is the front neck. So we'll cut out. This is all cut out. This and this together. The back and the front. Then separate it. So we'll not cut out. This is the front neck. This is the front part. This is how it is. And this is the back. This is how the neck is. We we'll now cut out our facing. That's to turn the neck inside. We we'll cut out the facing for it. So this is our material. We fold this way. The light squares. Material on it, you place the main material just to get the neck. Yeah, you place it. I'm cut it out.
the church. There is your truck. You must find something that is similar to that of a neck. It's not compulsory that your facing has to be this big or bold. You can still make it a little bit tiny. It depends on your taste and what you want. But most of the times, I prefer mine to be bold. This is the facing for the front parts. We we'll still make another facing for the back in the same manner. To cut, I'll be using this piece of material, piece of fabrics, to cut the patch that we hear. This part here, I'll be using this to cut it. So, I'm a fold of. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I'll fold this into two. So, I'll be using 13 inches for the length. Body folding. This is because it's to form a pocket for me. It's to form a pocket. Okay. Here. I'm using nine and a half. Or let me say nine inches. Yeah, nine inches is okay. I'll use this to cut another one because here is two. We still need one because the patches is three. For the pocket thing or for the pockets and the patch, because we are going to use the still use the patch for the pockets. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is what we are going to do. We fold here. Yeah, we fold it. It's going to form a pocket. This unfold here. Fold here too. Be done. Here the two sides will do the same folding. So we'll do the same for the other two. That's what we're going to do. Going to do this. this is our three patches. This is the patch. This is the patch. This is the patch. This is the fringes we are going to attach at the bottom here. That's this fringes. This is here. This is this that will be here. So this is the patch that will form this sketch we have here. Then this is the main bodies of the the main bodies. This is our facing. We are going to stitch on this. We stitch on this and turn. Then do the same here. We also stitch on it and turn it. So let's sew. And this we have attached it to it like so. This is our attached it. So now. I'm going to work on the facing of the main body of the clothes. 
bodies of the clothes. So I'm going to attach the piercing to it. That is what I'm working on. I'm going to attach the piercing to it like so. Matched it so the same thing I will do for the other panel that's the front panel. This is the back panel, so I will do the same thing for the front panel. This is it. We have stitched it. We have stitched the neck. So the next thing to do is to use a hemming gum to put it in place. We use a hemming gum with a little heat from our iron, electric iron or shakun iron, any one, the normal iron. We use it to put the facing in place so it's not be coming out like it's in lap with the masseria, the main body of the clothes. So that you give it a light press, you press it here. They will now attach the sorry. These are hemming gum. We now place it in between the main fabric and the facing. You press it to the two of them in place then using your iron you to make it to be in place like so like so like so
So we'll still do the same thing for the back panel. The same thing we did here. That's all we'll do at uh, the back. We'll still do this is the after attaching the hemming gum to the to hold the main body of the clothes and the facing in place. Then we'll now place our part, the part we are using on the fabric, on the main fabric. Then use a an office pin or office pins to hold it in place before matching it using our machine, our sewing machine. So we hold it in place. So this what we're going to do all this piece. So we hold it in place. Or better still, we we'll match the first two before matching the one that has the pages on it, the last one, the last layer. So we we'll match these ones first. So this is it after after holding it with this pin after holding it with the pin this is how it be before we attach the second one that's the one that'll be under the two of them so we use the machine to we use the machine after attaching the patch to the dress we'll now join but we'll now join the two shoulders together. So this is it. We'll join here, here to here, from here to here. Then do the same thing for this other place here. After joining the two shoulders. The two shoulders and the sleeve, you fold here, you fold it. You do the same thing for this other part, join the two shoulders and the sleeve, then fold, then we we'll shape. So this is our final result. This is how the mannequin is on. Sorry how the boo boo mannequin is so to well to subscribe to our channel. Click on the notification bell to get updated on our new videos. Share surprise like what you see. And thanks for supporting us too. I appreciate